What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. And returning for six whole weeks, the homie Kai. And we... I'm keeping that in there. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Dragon Ball fans, and all those that are listening to the Full Power Podcast, please give a warm welcome to the homie Kai. How's it going, sir? It's good to have you back. It's going quite well. Thank you very much. It's definitely good to be back because I've heard some wild shit. Oh, yes, you have. I, <laughs> I've heard some absolutely <laughs> wild shit, and I'm here to give a... Uh, Give some opinions on the matter, maybe uh, go in a little bit further into some of those theories because they uh, are valid as fuck. A little too valid for super, if you ask me. But. A little too. <laughs> you don't hear that too often, but yes, a little too valid sometimes is a thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So guys, you? as you know, you? as you well, yeah, as you as you know that uh, I mean, you hear the, you hear the original two right now, brother Ooch has uh as 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 we have kind of been alluding to a little bit in the previous episodes um he has fully taken on his competitive edge again in call of duty um so today um at the time of when we were recording and when the next backup day would have been this man has scrims okay so scrims short for scrimmages for those that don't know he's on like a he, I, I want to say he is on a pro team, but it's probably a team that is not like, you know, like a pro pro team. Like he's not on no cloud nine or, you know, like hundred thieves. He's not on any of those types of teams, but nonetheless, he's on a, he's on a competitive team for call of duty. So of course we're going to uh, send our best wishes to brother, which of course, and good luck in his screen because you already know this man's been out here slaying people in these shooters for for quite some time now and it sucks because i was looking forward to having the three of us back again once again it'll happen to have that trifecta going but that'll have to wait we'll have to we'll have to push that off for another week so it seems right now so that's why it's just the two of us back to to how it was but you know what that's it, it is what it is like you know i'm i'm as long as i get to talk with either or or both i'm chilling so you know as far as everything else i mean you know life has uh you know it you know we have new we have new variants now which is nice and i'm not talking about loki and i'm not talking about marvel yet but I'm definitely talking about that pandemic life because as a friendly reminder just like our neighborhood spider-man we have still a pandemic going on despite how some might or most might act out in public and whatever but uh it is what it is we the thing has evolved now it's like it's like frieza you know it's like frieza was <laughs> such a threat you know and now it's like going through all of its like ugly freaking forms and stuff like that so i don't know that's like the the closest thing or tie whatever that i can connect the pandemic to all of this anime discussion we're about to have i'm sure right about now other than that i mean I've been uh, really grinding Halo, I'm not gonna lie. I finally hit Onyx, which is the, the highest rank you can hit on ranked for Halo. So I feel like this is the best I've ever been at, at any shooter in my life, period. And, I, and that's crazy because a lot of people you would probably think like, oh, like maybe like high school was your prime or college days, no, now. Now, it, it, my time is now John Cena okay you can't see me <laughs> all right so I'm having a lot of fun having a lot of fun playing with Papa Ooch with brother Ooch and yo I have to freaking send you I have to let you know when I'm live when he's playing with us because it's a trip because he takes his competitive side and he is like a whole nother person and it's kind of crazy to hear because like I said, he's like a whole nother person. And like, this guy is like doing all these call outs and he's calling shit out. He's like, no fucking shot. Like he's just saying things. And it's really funny. It's a good time. So obviously another quick uh, shameless plug, twitch.tv slash Uji Games. Check out the streams for when I've been playing. Halo has been in my regular rotation. Like it's like Master Chief Monday every day almost, but you know, 
like I said, we're at Onyx now. Other than that, um, still been playing Power Rangers. We have a uh, Rita Repulsa coming out very soon. Can't say the date, you know, even though it's, you know, by the time this comes out, I'm sure it'll be revealed to everybody else. But your boy already knows, of course. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much like all I could really think of. You know, the weather has, has not changed for me. I've just been in the gym pretty much like every other day. So yeah, everything's pretty normal, I would say. I'm going home soon to visit family. That's that's cool, I guess, right? Hey. Yeah, so Yeah, that's uh that's been that's been that's that's been what's up with me, but I mean, as far as Kai goes, listen, this is the grand return. This is like the freaking the the premiere like 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 you the character in the, in the anime that hasn't been seen in a long the ass se- time the and second then boom. Coming that's exactly right <laughs> it's the second coming of kai cast all right oh and God. so uh, like before we get into any of the things that you wanted to bring up that you missed out on what w- how, what was it like the challenge to just not talk for six weeks i'm just gonna leave it at it was mad annoying i'm sure it was that's that's the best way i can possibly describe it yeah Crazy, son. <laughs> I, yeah. Oh my god. I, I, I honestly, I couldn't. I, I couldn't even like. I couldn't even imagine or fathom like what that's even like. Cause the closest thing I could ever even relate to that is, is like the few, the very, very few times that I've ever been in a setting where I didn't really know a lot of people, so I was just quiet and didn't really talk too much, and then like by the end of the day or whatever i yeah, felt the end like of the day yeah like I, I felt like my throat was dry and i'm like why did the hell like why does it feel like i was screaming i don't yep. know like that's that's the closest thing i could think of to it i mean yeah which is you know that times 100. yeah well so you're feeling you're feeling better now though yeah i am not 100 percent, but definitely a lot better okay all right well yeah do what you gotta do man i'm glad that you are feeling better because that shit sucks <laughs> just to freaking put it out there right now but um so i we have we have two comments from the last episode that i can i can look at and obviously go they're really quick they're not like very long type yeah, of comments but i was gonna ask if you want me to do that or we just hop into whatever you wanted to start with first I'm good with the comments. All right. So the first person here, they just said that platinum freezer. You already know what it is. We out here. That platinum freezer is going to happen eventually sooner than later. I hope that's my hope. You know, you know, we've been, we've been, we've been wanting platinum freezer since tournament of power. So, you know, freezer yeah. gotta get, gotta have something. Yeah. They, it's, they keep name dropping him, but nothing yeah he's doing you know what he's doing he's doing what he did uh like he was in the top he's just hiding for mad long so <laughs> people forget that he's there that he's back yo imagine if he was literally just watching this entire time <laughs> oh, that'd be mad funny <laughs> dude that would actually be freaking hilarious because like he like but yo that would also be crap at the same time if he that's all he did because imagine he's watching he's getting name dropped throughout the entire freaking fr- the arc the arc ends and by the and by the ending there's a scene where he's like overlooking all of it just laughing he's like <laughs> and that's and that's it that's what that's how we see frieza in this arc i'll be on oh my god that would be awesome bullshit i hope that that does not happen i don't I think really it would don't. i think they would i think they would just feel obligated to do more with him yeah, well i hope so I, ho- I hope they do feel a little pressured you know especially when you got plenty of content creators and just people in general on social media that are 100 percent behind the idea of frieza making some sort of appearance or having some sort of involvement in this arc with just the amount of times they have said this dude's name in like like back to back like it's kind of crazy you know like you'd almost feel like he already showed up you know right. but not yet okay so 
he has not shown up yet but i feel like from how I, what i was saying last week i think it was last week i was like i was saying how oh yeah like i don't think like i i, I feel like he's about to come out of out of nowhere as a surprise considering that he hasn't been mentioned in the last you know few chapters at least so i feel they're like trying to make you forget about him yeah exactly that's like that's what i said right there yeah they're trying to make you forget that they talked about him so much so much like you know so far right so yeah man I, but yeah when he comes back i feel like this is what brandon was saying he was saying like he's gonna come back and he's gonna be he's gonna tell everyone like yo he's been training he's not fucking around no more <laughs> and yo and i you know now i think about it right if frieza was was about that life he i feel like he really would be like the true thanos of this whole shit son i want to say yes ah I want to say yes, but I don't know. After the new shit I've seen and the things that we've been theorizing about Broly, I think he might still have it. Okay, no, that's fair. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> listen, you said Broly first, not me. Okay, like I, I can't ever be called out to be this hey, don't, super don't fanboy. All right, <laughs> don't don't you forget that I only say Broly because they wrote Blackout. Well, damn. <laughs> 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 Got it. Got him, yes. He definitely got me. Um, but yeah, I mean, cause cause he cause the reason why I say that, right, is because it, when you hear any character that ever that we ever come across in Universe 7 at least, whenever they talk about Freeze or mention him by name, it's always like this guy is believed to be that dude. Like he is he is in a lot of people's minds the strongest in the universe because he's he is frieza like yeah, he's got the biggest no, clout in the universe that's for sure yes that's what i mean like he has the most clout free in universe 7. like everybody is afraid of this man and especially those that have their story outdated where they still think this the fucking planet vegeta is still around <laughs> like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like those characters for sure are always on some yo freeze us that dude but they don't even realize like we already been through cell we already been through majin buu we already been through freaking gods of destructions and we already been through other gods that took on the form of goku and we've had other universe people coming through fighting again to, to prove who's the strongest in the, all the universes like we we there's a lot that's happened all right and 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 even and despite all that, Frieza is still at the at the head of that table, son, of the conversation. So that's why I'm like, if he ever was to actually be about that life, where he didn't just you know he he, he didn't just rely on his pure raw gifted talent of you know just being whatever kind of warrior fighter that Frieza is, that they took that and they they applied it, you know, and next time he shows up like it's not gonna be like on some free shit because you know literally like take like go back to resurrection f and 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 realize that frieza won because he he played them that's what happened he 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 played them he, he literally hit hit him with the slide of hand oops made you look and if it wasn't for Whis then there'd be no more dragon ball it'd be done that's it like <laughs> yeah but you know what that can't ever be the case that can never ever not one time be the outcome yeah it can't because there happen. was one time when that was the outcome and you know what happened reverse reverse right heading with the cha-cha slide freaking <sighs> but yeah but That's it what doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter who it is like when it comes to super like they're all gonna lose <laughs> and they as in who the villains the, yeah yeah for sure not like it's oh my god it's so fucking cookie cutter it hurts 
well you know what though i mean ultimately yes they always do end up losing but they do have they do get some w's if you think about it nah dude there's a very very select few that get w's in my opinion so here's what i here here's what i think classifies as a dub right i feel like if they if you if 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 the if that villain or foe may essentially makes whoever z warriors or whoever they're fighting have to retreat regroup that's a dub i feel like that's a that's a dub that, not, that's like a if battle they not, nah absolutely not if they not making because because i'm not talking about side villains i'm talking about like you know big ones big threats big dogs yeah. like if you if it's not goku or vegeta if that you're making retreat it ain't shit yo but that's what i'm saying like moro literally made them he he made them goku black made them like yeah, like multiple but, times no look that's your boy he got dubs i he know dubs. i know he i know he did but that's what i'm saying though like he was the first to ever do it like that like repeated wins like round one he won round two he won round three he won this man never took a L. And guess Frieza? what? No. Black. Oh, Goku Black. And he, you know, like they can't, they can't let that side win ever. Nah, but they get the, that's what I'm saying. Like they get their small wins. Like they don't win the the whole, you yeah, know, but, like the decisive shit. But Black was shit. the first one to get wins like that. So you don't. Like repeatedly. You, like you, you see other you see other ones where it's like oh you know round one goes to Goku round two goes to like Cell or whoever else, you know they exchange they box. <laughs> they box. Yeah. They do. Nah, dude. Black had people manhandled. Moro had them manhandled. So you okay? So they so with all that you don't consider Frieza's wins on Namek wins. Cause he he bodied everybody besides obviously I mean even Goku was yeah, losing. Yeah, but but we're talking about Super. Oh, see, I'm talking I'm talking all the villains like overall just to like kind of give a. No, I'm, a, a I'm talking about I'm talking about what they're doing in Super. Uh, okay, well, if we narrow it to Super, then yeah, like, like yeah. they don't. It's I don't know. I don't I don't think I think with the exception of you know black's arc i don't think it's been very uh i, I can't think of the word like raw mm. you know what i mean like there were a lot of lines crossed in that arc oh yeah oh yeah like it and was... it only got like that one time in all of you know dragon ball history like I, it never went to that you know like that dark of a place it was super nitty-gritty for sure i, I yeah. agree with that and they and the good side did nothing but lose that's it like it was only l after l for them and it, it was a stressful like, time yeah exactly because you know you've seen it before uh, you, you've seen you know you've seen goku and you know you've seen the z fighters everybody else win time and time again you know you've seen spirit bombs you've seen kamehameha's you've seen all types of wins it doesn't matter yeah. right but they wanted to do something cool they wanted to do something unique and they were like you know what let's make these niggas lose like <laughs> it's that simple like <laughs> So that's exactly what they did. And then when the, when they realized how powerful of a villain they had, they were like, wait, we, we can't actually have them lose. Run it back. Like, <laughs> poof. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, same thing. And I think they did the same thing with Moro. They pulled it out of their ass. They're like, wait, 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 wait. We, we, can't, actually, we can't actually have Moro win because then, then what do we do? <laughs> Facts. <sighs> yup. That is. Like, it doesn't even true. matter anymore. Like, after like you know how you know how my opinion of the entire franchise changed after the black arc but then when they did it a second time on moro in in a way it wasn't that bad but it, it might as well have been that was just that was an ass pull yeah see yo okay that's a that's a great great talking point right there and we got plenty more time to talk about it right now since we're pretty early <laughs> on so far in this episode but um yo that, like i'm just i'm just like i had to take a second just now because i'm thinking like once we get because right now like they have to essentially write like you already know no matter what happens 
they're all going to be good and they're all going to be alive by the time this this end of Z gap happens or you exactly. know when we get to that point, you know. Exactly. So I'm so I'm thinking like after you know like after it's all like all that shit is handled which will most likely be after this next super 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 movie dude i'm thinking like how godlike would it be if whoever came next actually like gave the the the, the heroes like a, a solid l and they had to hold that shit and like that was the arc boom and then they yeah. had to go through some shit i mean that would in a i mean i can't say it's out of the nature of dragon ball to do that because you they have they have had moments where that ha, yeah. that has been that has happened where it has been felt like and funny enough those each time involved trunks i'm not even gonna lie yeah i know i know we we, <laughs> we talked about this yeah like <laughs> This dude has had to go to go through the craziest of shits, literally, in both situations. Like when all his people in his time died, versus the fact that more crazy shit was going on, and he still needed some freaking help, and it got as nuts as it did. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Trunks is you know that what? guy. Because you know what? The, that whole that whole android timeline like that's some real shit like they were yeah. real threats you know like that's i don't know that's i feel like that was the the smallest glimpse as to where the story could have ended up heading somehow if gohan had made it as you know like the uh the main character mm-hmm yeah you know like some some shit with you know the androids going back to their old ways and then fucking shit up right yeah dude that's what i'm saying like my man chunks out here going through it the most saving yeah, the, saving multiple timelines i'm just sick because we're on we're on the topic of like you know i mean we're kind of off topic but I'm, we're on the topic of like you know cookie cutter we're on the topic of heroes always win you know it's dragon ball death means nothing <laughs> absolutely but, nothing right but when when you think about all these things from super right you think of all these things from super that add up like the black shit and the moro shit yeah they're all ass pulls it doesn't matter you want to talk about the manga you want to talk about what's happening with granola like the strongest in the universe as a wish you stupid one more person <laughs> wished for the same exact shit after you what you're telling me he you're telling me the second person in line didn't ask shenron hey make me always the strongest person in the universe like he didn't change the sentence he made the same he made the same dumbass wish like yo come on bro this is fucking stupid did i not say that was gonna happen though yeah of course <laughs> They even, they even, like, dropped it multiple times. I'm pretty sure it was, like, twice that, uh, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, gas. Like, you know, it's your wish. Waiting on you. Waiting on you, gas. Don't gas me up, gas. Yo, but he, the funny thing about that is we didn't see exactly how Elik or Elik, as you, as you pointed out to me, because we got... I just thought it was Elik, because, you know, they got gas, oil. They got... <laughs> Got fire somewhere. Like, got electricity in this bitch. They're gonna have a they have a character called Fire. F I Y A. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Dude, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we don't we don't know exactly how they they purposefully off screen didn't show how he wished for gas to be the strongest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like they you gotta tell me. Oh man. I swear if he didn't wish for some some type of like better version of the same thing this is dumb well i feel like i said i feel like i feel like like that's fine like it's gonna happen he's gonna you know they're gonna he's gonna be he's gonna wish for the strongest to be the strongest in the universe so that he could fight off you know all these people right now but then it's gonna that that's gonna build in has, that, has, that has a built-in uh callback to when Vegeta told Granola to his face, like, like you could be the strongest in the universe all you want, but all it takes in a fight is to just be stronger than your opponent for one second, and that's all it means, and that's all that that's all that there is. Boom. 
Exactly. So, he could have, you know, like he could have wished to, you know, permanently be the strongest. So even if it's for one second, it automatically gets corrected by the wish. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Like you would you would think, I mean, just logically, you wouldn't even have to do that. Because like if you say verbatim, I want to be the strongest in the universe, even if someone was even if, if someone else was to wish for the same thing, it should literally be like a weird kind of drawback effect because technically like yeah like whoever wishes for it next should then at that point be the strongest in the universe but what then you have to ask the question like okay then what what does that mean for the the person who wished for it before does the wish get nullified do they keep the strength that they were able to attain for that amount of time does the whole lifespan thing go away? You know, there's a lot of Yo. questions that have to be answered just off of that happening now. You want to talk about questions that need to be answered. Let's talk about what the fuck is up with this two star Dragon Ball repercussion rule. Like one person gets their lifespan cut in half. The next one's like, oh, all right, you can have this wish, but I'm going to force you to puberty. You're going to lose your childhood. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm saying I'm li like it's that's why I'm saying like Elik wished for something like along the same lines but it, it was something different because it like exactly like if granola wished for the same shit and he basically kept the same features characteristics all that like he didn't really take on any newer like representation of that power that newfound power that he had so why is it that when gas got that same wish apparently my man literally shot up like seven inches buffed came yeah, out the went, gym he started looking like a majin jamaican yes <laughs> <laughs> dude i like the look though it's freaking fire hey, that's the no, best guy we've seen it's, <laughs> it's gas dude that's right oh i can't yeah so i mean there's a lot of things that we still have to there's 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 definitely several questions that need to be answered going forward which i'm pretty i'm pretty confident in saying that like let's say the movie comes out in april or may i'm pretty sure this arc is gonna last right up until then so that way it's like it comes out and then at least japan will have it and we all have to suffer and wait until whenever it actually does come out Bro, if it wasn't for that Bardock backstory, I would not care what's happening right now. This shit is dragging. Yo, but, but see, and that's, I'm hoping that was something else that you wanted to bring up was, uh, what, what do you think about my, my, uh. Yeah, I know about that, that but ooh. I thought the same thing. As soon as they cut him off, I was like, don't do that. Oh. I was like, don't, don't do that. <laughs> oh, you, you, I, I, you had to feel it. You had to feel it. I did. I absolutely did. And I knew you were going to say something about it because we're not new to this. Absolutely not. Not at all. We've been around this rodeo. We call us experts at this point. I don't give a shit. Where's yeah, my fucking said, license? He said, but sky goes dark. I was like, man. Yup. Yup. They're holding it. Really? For what? That's man. It's funny too, cause that that's actually a really good way to write it. Because last uh, last chapter they had us on the cliffhanger with you know did he win, and then immediately fast paced answer, um, got it. He won. Yeah. Done. How did he yes. win? Well, he won by uh oh. Uh, yep. No, yo, actually, yo, he, yo, Manito actually hit him with the actually. He goes actually on the yeah, contrary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he really hit him with that. Oh my god, that's he. That's I'm I'm not even gonna lie, I don't even care about anything else in this arc. I just want to see what, what happens. Saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh my god, you know what sucks, dude? I wait, what sucks? It's what sucks is that I've literally been saying this shit for so long that I'm sure if it actually does come out, ain't nobody gonna say, "Yo, I heard Uchi say this shit first yeah i know right no one what, is it's gonna what suck you dude. ever heard <laughs> people coming over here like yeah i heard that shit on the fpv yeah right like we need we need some more respect put on our on our names son like dude 
I saw I saw that that uh, thumbnail. I don't remember what episode it was, but it was you know Bardock, you know Super Saiyan Four with the fucking with the headband. Mm. I was like, oh no, I need this right now. Absolutely, absolutely. Look, 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 man. I don't care if he showed up in Super Dragon Ball Heroes. Okay, I don't care if it happened there first. Wait, he showed and- up like he showed up like that, like SS Four. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, they have... So, dude, all these characters have hella forms. Hella forms. Like, there's a, there's a Super Saiyan... They've, they've had a Super Saiyan 3 Bardock for years. They've had a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock for years. Okay. Yeah, so, like... Well, now, now I'm sad. Look, but that's what I'm saying. I'm sad, too, but hear me out, okay? Now <laughs> would be a perfect time... Bro, it's kinda... too good to be written. We know <sighs> this. We know this to be true. If, <sighs> if it sounds like it's gonna be fire, you know it's not gonna be printed. <sighs> but, but, the, but my, what? But what? But my thing is, it, look, man. For look, okay, you're talking to the the same guy for the lo- longer than any of these theories. Oh my god, you you gonna talk about the bro? Oh, oh, you, oh, <laughs> you already know. <laughs> You come on, man! Like you're talking to the guy that <laughs> yeah, talking to that guy that said, "Bro, it's gonna make it, dude." For straight <laughs> up, I want to say it feels like my whole life. It really does. It feels oh like my, my existence on this planet. You know how many times I was told that Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, it, all, it was never coming back. You know how many times I was told that? Do you? I I lost count. Obviously, I didn't never kept track because it was so frequent. But hey, that's what it was. That's the kind of conversations that I was having. And to everyone's point, they everybody has their own right to fucking think what they want. But when I'm over here looking at how, like this is like my early the early days of how my whole like thought process developed. Okay, because when I started taking notice to things going on in life, okay, like what's happening out there? And then I started to kind of use those as puzzle pieces to kind of build this picture of what could be coming. That is what really helped me to like try to really dissect stories that I'm that I'm reading and watching and stuff like that. Because it's just like, well, if you have a show like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, whatever. I'm just going to say Dragon Ball for short because that that is encapsulating all of the media that has the Dragon Ball name attached to it. Whether there is a Z, no Z, GT, whatever, right? You guys already know (laughs) what I'm talking about at this point or should at least. And when you constantly have that, whatever that is, Dragon Ball shown off so frequently in other means and you have to remember once z was done what did they have what what was happening after that they kept like obviously yeah they had gt right in like the mid early 2000s but they kept coming out with more movies obviously they were just subbing them from japan because dbz been done since like the mid 90s (laughs) over there you know like they had that shit. Kid Boo been defeated. By the time we, <laughs> right. by the time we saw that dude on TV, it was it, it, Japan's like, wow, you guys got this like seven years, eight years later or some shit like that. Like that's that's crazy, but that that's the truth. So ever since then, when you realize like how come like if there's no there's no new episodes, right? They are they they keep re-releasing the sets okay like they have a million different ways you can literally buy the anime they obviously have printed the manga a shit load of different ways they have a shit ton of video games and i'm just like damn bro dragon ball z really still out here like it's that popular that people still give a shit about it enough that it's still making money as if it was still putting out new episodes and guess what i said you know what this to me looks like two and two is four and four 
is the equivalent of i believe that one day this shit's gonna come back full time like like new shit not like on some hey yo son goku episode or whatever right i feel like it's gonna come back and lo and behold one day finally after all that that doubt and the denial is never coming back battle of god's movie fucking announcement oh why what's this goku's fighting the fucking easter bunny what's this you, like you remember that shit seeing the fucking yeah. the early images and the posters of goku going up against beerus and it was the battle of gods like yo what's yep. going on right and then we see the movie the movie comes out and what does that movie do it's not just some regular ass cookie cutter type of dragon ball film I mean, obviously, I mean, yes, there's going to be cookie cutter elements. It's Dragon Ball leading the jungle. Clearly, there's going to be some shit that's going to, you can bet your ass is going to take place. Like, is Goku going to get a new form? Absolutely. Like, <laughs> you know, like that's the big one right there. But like, when you think about it in full, this, what did that movie do? It set up the rest of what we were about to take in. It literally, like, it could have just been another one-off type shit. Where they had a fight against somebody and then they all called it a day and it went back to obscurity but no they introduced the gods they they, they, just, they introduced the god of destruction and that fucking accompanying angel and then introducing the whole the, the the knowledge drop of oh yeah there's all these other universes and there's way more fighters and there's you know like we've been around for longer than you can even imagine and freezes a bitch to us like that's the one I'm, you know what i'm saying like <laughs> and we and we and we, when we hear all that it's just like wow like there's way more that could happen and so then after that it does so well it's in the theaters you know it's a big fucking hit because it's <laughs> dragon ball z and freezes our bitch yeah like i mean that's that's a, <laughs> That's how it was. Like, I'm not trying to knock on. You know, I love Frieza, <laughs> no, but like you're that. You're right. You're right. Yeah. And then next thing you know, it's just like, well, what are we gonna do next? Well, let's bring let's let's bring that exact motherfucker back right now because nostalgia sells. Dragon Ball is nostalgia encompassed, personified. So let's fuck. Let's let's do it. Who cares? Who cares? Toei officially said, "Man, who gives a shit? It's Dragon Ball. We've been we've been ha we've been on break for what 15, 20 freaking years it almost seems like. Come on now. We could bring that shit back." And no, you know what? Actually, it's pretty much it, at that time it was definitely like around 20 years for them. By the time by the time they actually brought uh, Resurrection F back and before that movie even came out, bro. Yep. Super was back as a as a whole new series serialized manga anime everything underwear everything they had <laughs> it was all back again once again and 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 then the people oh, I'm all surprised why the fuck are y'all surprised i saw this shit happening and then when that happened i you know not even when that happened as i was making my claims about man when they bring that shit back broly gonna come back too He's gonna be the first one. He's gonna be the first one to be brought from out of that non-canon head-ass obscurity, and he's gonna be written in some way. And I was right he, about that shit too. He cannot be the only one though. That's what nah, I'm nah, holding nah. out for. Nah, nah, I'm he's really not. holding out for some of the other ones to pull up. Dude, he's not. He's not. I it, when I got invited to Kamehakan 2, the first one I went on my own. The second one, they invited me to be a part of the event, to host the panel. The fucking the, the the panel is still on YouTube. You guys can watch it back right now. I did a whole presentation on why Broly is and still in my in my greatest of opinions the 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 embodiment of chance and opportunity. Okay? And that is just what it is. You have the, the whole the basis of it is that if you have something that is so popular and loved by many no matter what the reason is, at some point, it doesn't have to be soon, it doesn't have to be quick, but at some point, that thing will eventually get brought back in to rotation. Why? Because the world revolves around fucking money. 
and making money and profiting and all this other crap and nostalgia sells right it's always going to be a selling point and nostalgia makes a lot of money broly is green that man prince green full power is green okay <laughs> he's a lean me green making machine okay th th i can't spell it out for you anymore and and like and and, and and in that presentation i literally used so much evidence pointing to how i always truly deep down believed that yeah he was gonna come through like I, there was no way like how are you gonna make all these different games and always have this motherfucker on the cover how is it that when you have dlc when when dlc was be was becoming more of a thing in video games why is it that in raging blast one that dude was one of the first fucking characters on that shit he they had him super him, saiyan 3 broly dude him, yeah him and vegeta were the first two and they were both super saiyan 3 you, you see what i mean fast forward even to now son even to now freaking dragon ball fighters okay look who the first fucking character was with bardock broly with I don't, with whoa, 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 whoa with who with you heard me correctly with bardock mm. they were the first two uh dlc characters for fighters and then dude that same year when we when we finally got the big the big announcement and the big fucking thing where motherfuckers were literally coming at others for saying like yo people think that's broly you're fucking retarded oh you think that 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 fake looking picture was broly you're fucking stupid one hour later all those motherfuckers probably was eating shit because <laughs> when they made it official and it came out bro i was like it, it was like a euphoric feeling i couldn't even like it was just, like i felt like for a moment of time i was just like is this real life like i had to question so many things but it's just like when 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 you when you predict and speculate and you have and it's not just for the fucking shit sake of just doing it just like any other head ass fan it's just like oh yeah we're gonna see uh uh, uh krillin go super saiyan in the you know what i'm saying like no shut the fuck up like you, you you're 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 not adding anything of value to the conversations okay like you're just whatever you're out you're you're, you're you need some help okay stop it you need help all right but when Even i'm the sensu not gonna help your ass no nothing okay so like when you when when, when, when we're thinking of all this stuff and when and, and and you and and you just have you have to just look at it how how they present things how they've been doing things it's just like yo when they when they finally fucking announced broly it was official for for the movie i was just like i felt like i was on another, on another plane of existence like the satisfaction of knowing that i was right all those years of fucking calling it it just felt great right so the funny thing is when dragon ball fighter season two was coming out I made a very easy prediction. I said Broly's definitely the the new Broly is 100% gonna be as a part of that shit. I even had somebody that is literally like within like I, I'm on the inside when it comes to the Power Rangers Battle for the Grid game with the developers, right? I, I knew somebody that is basically on the same level on the inside with Bandai for Dragon Ball Fighters. I was literally standing in line with said person. Shout out to my man IFC, I've seen the No Frills podcast, right? I was standing in line with this dude. And 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 what line were you might ask? The fucking premiere for said Dragon Ball Super Broly movie. And I'm like, yo, I know that in a few weeks they got announced the season two DLC for Dragon Ball Fighters. Do you think Broly's gonna be in there? He said, no. Straight up. He said no. He's like, nah, there's no way. He's like, He's like, nah, like if they, it, 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 he think he thought it was like too soon or some shit like that. Right. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that's fair. Didn't matter to me because I was like, yeah, no, I highly, I, I highly believe that he will. So you know what they did? The first character, guess who it was? It was Jiren. That's fine. Next character, Kefla. That's fine. Don't care. But then you know what they did in that same trailer, Kai? They what? fucking silhouetted the next three characters. Okay. They oh, silhouetted yeah, like the they next do. three 
but the last one they fucking straight up confirmed that it was broly <laughs> yeah what i remember know? that what do you know your boy is out here he's been out here so when i fucking see something i had to explain all of that just to bring it back to what we're talking about with this fucking current art right now if i'm seeing how they've been doing the story and the funny thing is it even relates to broly but when i see how they've been doing the story writing it planting seeds here and there and then they say things and do things certain a certain way in the story bro it is like they're they're testing me they're like i wonder if this motherfucker gonna gonna read into this this way or that way because you know look i'm, I'm just, not i'm not knocking the whole because we're 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 talking about the whole the whole bardock thing we're talking yes. about the whole super saiyan 4 potential thing right yes so, I, I'm not knocking the idea. It's definitely plausible. It's definitely possible. All that shit. It, it's just too good. Yeah. It's. I don't. I don't see it. I don't see it. I think it would be way too good because. Oh my god. There's there's so much. There's so much more backstory that they could be giving us too. Like we discussed. Like the whole the whole other. Um, what was it N not timeline but you know like the whole other type of reality that you know could be had if vegeta went back to new vegeta if they you know different wishes they could have made all types <laughs> of fucking theories that uh, we made, right? yeah. if they if they do something like this and turn that man into any form of super saiyan that is not something we've already heard of it's gonna have to be a lot bigger than that it's gonna have to be a bigger explanation it's gonna have to be a lot more to be said like i don't think i don't think it's gonna happen i think it's too good and you know <laughs> another reason that i think it's too good is because it fits too well the whole <laughs> the whole the whole thing with the tail the whole thing with going golden with the ape form the whole like all that shit is Dude. too good to fit i'm telling you bro and honestly the funny thing about you saying all this is in a way the biggest compliment to all of the things that I have already put out there in the world through this podcast, because I will tell you that with the shit that I was talking about with brother Ooch, dude, <laughs> like it was like when we, when we realized one thing and connected it to another thing, then all of a sudden I remember, wait a second, I feel like this is all meant to be a good possible feasible thing that could definitely happen because Dude, it would just it would give it would give bardock like his own you know everybody out here with their own brand of fucking super saiyan then bardock would have his boom solidified but yo but check it check it son as you say all that i have to i ha i there there's look I, it's, it's called the full power pox for a reason. You see who the fucking mascot is for this damn freaking John, okay? <laughs> All right. I'm in my whole 100% right to talk about Broly as many times as I need to to get my point across, <laughs> okay? But dude, like this is this is this is this is evident, okay? This is like the things that we have already seen that we can take apart and apply it to other happenings or things that are still we're still learning it, it just like you said it makes too much sense to not do and it, and, it, and it would almost be criminal for for them to not do it, this because no, it's just like fuck out of ah. here it 100 percent is criminal for them not to write it this way <laughs> It, it was criminal for them to hoe Vegeta out of his win on Frieza. It was criminal for uh -huh. them to hoe Vegeta out of his win on Moro after he went through all that yard rat training for nothing. Yup. Like, yo, I honestly, I feel like the yard rat shit, like a little side note really quick before we get back to it. I just want to say, as far as those two ho hoings, right? I, I, I think that one is probably maybe worse well no no it's not never mind i just the only reason why i'm saying i wanted to say that is because they really had oob out here being the actual reason why <laughs> they <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like Don't yo even, dude bro, just remember please oob is the reason why they won it wasn't because of anything else oob, See, it's, son 
it's a combination it's a combination of U being the reason it's a combination of them hoeing vegeta <laughs> it's a combination of fucking bringing mirrors back after we actually could have oh felt like death God. mattered in yes. dragon ball like yes. these these are the things that absolutely ruin a beautiful art <laughs> For no fucking reason. My man came back as a park ranger, son. Might as well just get hooked him up with an MVP shirt that <laughs> fucking Seventeen had. I was about to say, just give him some Seventeen shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Just got fucking Dragon Ball. Gotta love it. But yeah, man. As I was saying, like we already seen what happened with Broly. We already know that. This guy is so strong that he can fight toe to toe with a Super Saiyan God and then a Super Saiyan Blue in pretty much his like base form. But that's the part where it gets a little finicky because at that point in the fight, he kind of already had his own little power up. Okay, it was almost like a forced state that I, I will stand on this hill. I feel like if that man had his tail, he literally would have shown us something that looked very familiar. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because l listen, man, we thought we thought we knew what it was with the fusions. I don't have to say I don't have to go through that again. We already we when we think we know how everything about shit works, that's when we don't. Because actually <laughs> Yeah, that's like that. That's what they they hit us with. The actually, they hit us with the fucking actually. No matter how far further along the story it is, okay. When it comes to this shit right here, bro. We the, Toriyama. Oh, you thought you knew how the Ozarus worked? Oh, you, oh, you, they just need a moon, right? Okay, hold hold my fucking pen. And then he calls over Toyotaro. He says, "Here's the blueprint. Do the next arc right here. Boom." literally like i i, I like i always i because like thought you knew how ultra instinct work here there's levels to the shit there's levels to this shit you mean, you see what I mean? <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> and i even we even said that too man i was just like listen they introduced this shit way too soon i feel like they're gonna have levels to it and yep. lo and behold and then then what, would, what else did we say we said Bro, I really hope that Ultra Instinct just doesn't become the, the, the next over-glorified Kaioken. Guess what the fuck it is. Call a spade a spade. Bro, it's just the Ultra ass pull. It don't even, like... It Thank don't you. have the same weight that it did in that tournament. Like, it's just not... It's not it anymore. It's just like, oh, alright, that's cool. I'm, I'm here for it. This, this is great. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to see it. But, like, fuck out of here. It's like, it's all... It's all, all all they have, all you have to do to win that argument, right? Like, okay, was, oh, we oh, get it, Goku. You beat Jesus. Relax. <laughs> like, man's was man, uh, well, well, Ultra Instinct is what a technique, right? What's Ko Ken? A technique? Fuck. Just exactly. Put both of them on top of Super Saiyan Blue. Fuck it. Dude, Brandon even said that shit. He was like, bro. Um, <laughs> he said, he's like, imagine if this <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> he got the red John and the He got the red, white, and blue. Hit him with the <laughs> Hit him with that Super Saiyan America. <laughs> They're gonna just call him Super Saiyan Steve Yo, for how, the fucking how, Rogers. Hit him with the United States of Smash. It's so powerful. They just Dude, broke the anime barrier. He literally actually Goku just turns to All Might. That's what happens. <laughs> He's just calling he turns to All Might, bro. No 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 no. His Goku's name gotta be All Fight. <laughs> Yo, go, 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 turn this to all fight. Yo, that's crazy. That's hilarious. Shit, now I want to make this thumbnail. Like, <laughs> all my, yo, I'm gonna take all my head and just put it on Goku's body. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, holy shit, that is so funny! And hey, look, they already got Chris Sabat already in the booth right there. Boom. That's facts, they do. Yeah, right there. You gotta be all fight. Sean Shem was like, "Hold on, wait a minute," and he's like, "No, I am here." 
because you know i don't know if you know you know how they call midori a small mite <laughs> no i actually never they, heard of that i see that shit everywhere it had me rolling the first <laughs> time mite. i saw that shit small <laughs> mite <laughs> that's pretty funny uh but yeah guys bro bar Dude, Bardock, Bardock about to pull out Super Saiyan 4. Low key, high key, Dude, no I, key. The door is knocked the fuck down. It's just a walk <laughs> in. You just, it, you just go right in, guys. There is, I hope so. I just don't. I, it's too good to be true. Yeah, because all right. Now, now here's here's the thing. Bringing it back, right? We're we're chill. We're cool. All right. The reason, the 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 the, the, the one thing. If you want to ignore everything that I've ever said so far, all of my theories, despite how right I've been, I have a very good track record, so take that for what it is. But if you still don't want to listen, all right, fuck, okay, but take, <laughs> check this check this shit out, okay? Just think about it. If they have... So the, here's the thing. The problem when you have a fight that took place literally 40 years ago, against a character that is established to be x amount of strong okay like they are supposed to be this strong whatever right we're not saying that gas was this it is the it was fighting bardock in the form that he has now i'm not saying that at all but what i am saying is that take how strong like take how how they kind of hyped this man up even prior to that form being a thing to the to having his strong in universe form right so it's just like okay well you can maybe imagine like at this point in time how could a dude like bardock who they've only heard of super saiyan in legend how was he gonna how how did he manage to fight a strong opponent like gas what did he what did he have all he had was his fucking tail son and when saiyans go through some crazy shit when they are their backs are up against a, a wall and they are fighting to protect something that they care about because it's already been confirmed goku truly gets his soft spot from his daddy okay bardock whipped out some shit he did what the saiyans do and i really feel like even though they were classified as low class saiyan warriors dude that was that was them just being ignorant of their own race because i feel like hella saiyans probably they 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 they, they, they are they are battle warriors they're they're a warrior fucking race for a reason like they go through it enough they're gonna they're gonna evolve in in such a way and i feel like because goku had no tail by the time he got his super saiyan i feel like that was just an alternate thing that he was able to tap into that in a sense was just not it not really uh well i mean clearly it's a new form quote unquote because you know his hair changed and all that shit and whatnot but i truly feel like like all saying like saiyans are a crazy race because they have so many avenues and paths to go down when it comes to getting stronger and when you think of it that way it's just like well damn like that's facts so like there's not it's like yeah there's a pretty there's a pretty constant linear one that we're so used to seeing for the last fucking 30 years but at the end of the day look at what we've been introduced to for the last like five the last like yeah like five six seven pushing you know that many years like now we're at a point where goku's going the bruce lee route and vegeta's going the 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 fucking um the uh like the the kilimanjaro route where he's just all literally all ego and he's just all brute force freaking like you know what i'm saying like even even you can even go back further gohan had his shit unlocked by supreme kai or old kai you know yeah, like he got them cheat codes yeah and then it's like and then and then it's just like then we have then we have broly that makes his 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 grand debut 
Mans was holding his own against these stronger Saiyans. And that was his first legit fight. And he and he still unlocked his own shit with what he had. And because and look at what happened. Because there was no tail. And when he went full power, not even full power, when he went when he went Ozaru form state, right? It was like the pre-alpha version. And then when he got brought to a point where he's never experienced that kind of trauma, his body was like, oh shit, whip out the, whip out the blonde hair. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, boom. The Frieza experiment was a success. And I, I feel like that's just the route to, 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 be, to look at. So I just, when, when, when it comes down to Bardock vs. Gas, bro, this guy had his tail. And he won the fight. That's all we know. And we also know that it was on the contrary to what Vegeta originally believed about him just being another low class head ass fucking can't <laughs> do shit warrior. <laughs> low class head ass. Low class head ass, bro. Like that's that's what that's how Vegeta was. He was like, what? Yeah, you're right. So cause like ugh, man, like I could go all day about it. Like how like how else? Like what else could have happened? You know, like, I don't think he went Super Saiyan. I don't think he went Super Saiyan just off of everything that I said. And if he does, then it's just like, that would be kind of lackluster in a sense. To everybody out there saying he went Ultra Instinct, you can stop. Oh, no. No, no, I'm not going that far. Definitely not going that far because that, oh, <clears throat> see, that's, that's, that's another thing. I'm going to no, debunk that shit right now. <laughs> like, I'm not geeked them, but I'm going to debunk that shit right now. <laughs> okay like there's no way he went ultra instinct i can tell you that right now and you really want to know the, the reason why i know he didn't go ultra instinct why? look at look at how ultra instinct was brought about okay if you look at both the manga versions and the anime okay ultra instinct is literally a state of mind it is a it is a true technique it is a state of mind a state of being it is fucking bruce lee encapsulated be the fucking water my friend be the water and it's something it's leaf. like an it's like an application that you have to be taught like you have to be shown this shit because otherwise with it with how every single character under the sun with dragon ball is that has gotten some limelight they are all about raising their power levels and just being overall stronger across the board so that they can go toe to toe with whoever they're fucking fighting against. We've seen that right. so many different times. So I could tell you that right now, unless there was a moment where fucking Beerus and Whis went over there, froze time and said, yo, Bardock, why don't you calm down a little bit? Follow me. We're gonna we're gonna teach you how to do this shit, and then when you're ready, we're gonna unfreeze time, and then you can handle gas. Unless that happened, he, this man is not going ultra instinct. That it's would be happening. wild if it did. It's not, dude. It's not happening. It's not. There's no way. There's no, there is just like I'm very firm with how I believe about everything else that I think, like because of the indicators, the seeds that were planted bro like that is a true ass pull that that because that that would make no sense it's like it's like you're right in the equation and then the the solution is an answer that doesn't even make sense to all the things that you were fucking putting in it's like it's like imagine putting eggs bacon and some nice seasoning in the fucking pot and next thing you know you 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 flip that shit put it on the plate and it turns into fucking apples and oranges like what that's, what makes no sense and it's not gonna happen you know it, it's funny you're uh you're going on about <clears throat> ultra instinct being a technique right that word technique not a form it makes me you know the shout out to freaky face out here with his new form or is it a technique too because i saw i saw that theory about you know there being a mastered ego and i'm yep, like you know yep. i can't i don't even want to think about that shit oh but you know it's gonna happen Cause it's it's not 
I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be his own personal ultra instinct, like personalized for himself. Like it's not no power of the gods. It's not no power of destruction. It's just his fucking thing that he pulled out of his ass. Yeah. 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 I think so too. So yeah, I don't know. It. I can see it happening though. Like yeah, if, I could. If, if it goes down that way, but I can see know. that happening because they just want to. You know he's always trying to catch up to a uh, fucking Kakarot, so It'd be funny yeah. if they're both trying to get their perfected versions out now, acting like sell out here. Imagine if his mastered Ultra Ego is how he looks like now, but the Super Saiyan three hair. Nah, I'm not with it, dude. I took. I'm I'm sold on the gold eyes thing. Gold eyes? Yeah, I showed I showed you that how he got like the purple hair and like the gold eyes. Uh huh. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, cause the only reason why I say that is because he already got the Super Saiyan three eyebrows. So yeah, I know. Keep, keep pushing a little bit more, Vegeta, and then you'll be alright. You'll be in there. I thought they were gonna do something like the, you know, like the Super Saiyan two and a half or whatever that hair was. You know, like oh. Goku's like mid mid version. You know what I'm talking about? The the super bulky beefed. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, the, uh, no, no, never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you said one and a half, but yeah, you said no, two. No, I'm and saying half. two. And, yeah, two and a half. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's what, like, the hair would be like if nah, they were going to go that route. That'd be so fucking ugly and awkward, especially with the kind of fucking dome that Vegeta already has. <laughs> like, yeah, no. Nah, like, it's like. I mean, he, he's already freaky face from now on, so it's too late. Oh, so. Oh, so how convenient. How nice. Freaking Goku gets all the dope looking shit. By the time Vegeta gets anything freaking remotely next to a fucking right. worthy, they're right. gonna just make him ass ugly now. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, yeah, they're like gonna that. undermine. They're gonna undermine his whole new form as soon as <laughs> as soon as it gets whooped out. Yeah, dude. Like, I, like, cause at that rate, I mean, look, I'd rather him ha get the fucking Super Saiyan three hair with Master Ultra Ego than him getting the beefy one and a half muscles that they had in the freaking yep. cell tournament. I'll tell you that shit right now because they haven't done that shit. What the, they haven't done that shit in forever. I feel like the last time we saw a version of that, wasn't it like, wasn't it like uh, Califla that did that shit? Yeah, for like a frame. <gasps> yeah, for a frame. You see, yeah, you see what I mean? Like, man. Yeah, I didn't do that shit. But is there anything else that you wanted to uh, bring up from uh, what whatever you wanted to like talk about that you missed out on the conversation wise? I'm thinking about just like everything that's been happening. They definitely won't let Goku and Vegeta move on. <laughs> it's <laughs> never gonna happen because well, we already fair. talked about it. Like they they tried to let him move on and the people weren't about it. So now they're like, all right, yeah. they're here to stay. So. I yeah. guess it is what it is, but yeah, they're not trying to let them move on. Fuck hide and go seek. Um, oh my god, yeah. That's all I'm saying. Fuck hide and go seek. Um, what else? I mean, we went over a lot. As I knew we would. I'm all for platinum Frieza as I always have been. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yeah, I don't. I'm not. I, I, I'm only here for the backstory right now. Like, facts. Next chapter. Let me see it, Tori. I'm Tori Taro. Like, let me see uh, it, bro. I'll, I'll say, I'll say, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The gas's whole thing is like weapons, like weapon conjurer type shit. Yeah, type <laughs> shit. I heard you talking shit about that. Is I was like, so cool. I was like, you know what? That's lame. This is Dragon Ball. We don't need all that shit here. And then I was, I thought about it, and I saw the way they were like, you know, drawing it. And I was like, you know what? That's actually cool because one, they haven't done it, and two, I'm sure he'll do it right. Yeah, and they've been doing it right, and I appreciate that a lot because. It's, it doesn't feel as generic as, like you know, any other strong person. I mean, I mean, it's good on them. I will, I will also ad admit because you, right when you think they're gonna run out of ideas, they kind of hit us with a mix, and that's good. And that's what I like. I like yeah. when they give us something that we don't expect, and 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 because that's what makes it better. Well, and I, I was, I was just gonna say like with the whole like powers that he got or whatever like he definitely got some shit that's 
very unique and is something we actually haven't seen before. Like, we might have seen someone wield a sword, but not, like, you know, conjure weapons out here. Because, I mean, this we're, we're talking about we're talking about a race that literally one-hands planets. And you want to whoop out a shield on them? Not happening. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, <laughs> like, what, what, what the fuck's your shield going to do? So, I, I think it's cool because he will do it right, but... I saw him snap his fingers and put those weights on Goku, and I instantly froze. I was like, um, that's, yes, that's a Kaioshin thing. I was yes. like, did he ask for some godly powers? I was like, did he ask some, for some specific type of magic in there? Because that, that's definitely a Kaioshin thing. I've seen them change the weights all the time. You know, damn. I wish you never said that. Because <laughs> now that makes me think, like, is he related to a being... Out He's there related that is... to Kid Buu. He's half Kid Buu, half Namekian. Hey, shut up. <laughs> and then he went, you know, he went down south, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just saying, like, that is very true because characters that do that are of the god variety. You know? Exactly. So if he turns out to be like a relative to a god of destruction or just like you know a godly being because right you'd have to like the th yeah because like you have to think like the, the 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 god of destruction beings like you could i guess you could just call them the gods like they are there are their own race that are literally above everyone else that are just mortals because like they be living forever and then yep. like at some point then they become like gods of destruction and then that title gets passed on to like somebody else you know what i'm saying so like and the same thing happens for the angels so i mean like this dude gas and i didn't it didn't even occur to me when i was reading that shit that he's doing god shit right now so exactly. i wonder i wonder if he would still be able to do all that even without the whole uh strong in the universe buff because you know what i'm saying like you have to kind of ask that question because that's kind of interesting we we haven't seen him do anything so there's no way of knowing yeah i mean he's been he's been serving it to all these Is he, characters isn't isn't he the one that got bitched by granola as soon as granola made his wish um if i recall there was like granola made his wish to be the strongest and then he busted up into LX office in front of all the henchmen and everything and they were like hey you can't do that and he must have like flicked someone into the wall like heavy to his insert his dominance and i was pretty sure it was gas which is another reason why he's like yo you can piss off true okay yeah maybe maybe damn like yeah there you go guys right there bardock and and gas bro it had, everything has everything to do with those two characters as far as what we're looking forward to the most because other than that I mean, we kind of already know exactly what will happen eventually. <laughs> like, obviously, they're going to win somehow. It, no, no, let, let, let's not say it like that. Let, <laughs> let's not be those guys. We don't know exactly what's going to happen in the future, but we know one thing. It's not going to matter. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just not. It's We're not more concerned matter. on the past because what's, what happens in the future, what happens in the present, it's not going to matter. Yeah, right now, at least, it's not going to matter. For a hot minute yeah yeah this hot minute is gonna seem like it's, i mean the year's about to be done about to be in 2022 by by the well new I, I year say, same shit no <laughs> new year same shit but it's gonna have a new movie that will end and tie the fucking knot whatever like yo <sighs> like it's dude like it's gonna finally come to an end bro real quick because because we are coming to an end as well yes, real quick yes. you're talking about a movie that my hero movie mm. it was pretty good yes but i don't think it was as good or even close to better for those who are saying that i don't think it was as good as heroes rising thank you i just don't i don't think i don't think an anime movie has given like given out that much hype in a hot minute <laughs> oh no oh absolutely like, not. Her heroes rising just hit different Listen, I told this to my brother too, and I was like, as much as as good as the third one was, 
and it was good like it had a lot more like humble and like very like uh like uh what's the word i'm looking it had the for? right amount of casual yeah 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 like you know it was wholesome it had, it had a good it was wholesome, wholesome moments, yeah yeah right and then when when shit got serious then it's like okay we got some action action was pretty good all across the board i like the action it was tough on all levels everybody that was out there fighting hard that shit was nice yeah 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 that's what i'm saying like it, it definitely added to it but then i was like the whole time i'm not even gonna lie i went into the movie with an open with an open mind and but but at the same time i kind of had it already in my head that there's no way this film is going to be better than the second one there's yeah. just no way same i was like i was i was ready for it to be better because the first movie impressed me like crazy the second did the same i was ready for the third to do the same it just it's it's too high of a bar to to beat right now yeah yeah like i i, I had to explain it to brandon like the second movie did something that that meant so much like there was so much on the line yeah and and when it all came down to it like bro this man deku was literally about to sign off on the show being done with the decision he was about to fucking make but no not, not about to make the one that he did make he literally was like bro this is yours now this is the only way to fucking get this shit done and everything surrounding that moment dude i watched i'm so glad i watched that movie again before i went to go see that, that shit in, in the third movie in theaters bro i literally i had the all the same feel surprisingly and i hadn't i hadn't seen it since like i think maybe the last time we saw it in the movies i think because like i have it on blu-ray so like i popped that shit in because freaking Bree never watched oh yeah it. that's right we we went to the movies because we were we were tripping yes we <laughs> yes like we was like yo this villain's johnny oh right fuck <laughs> like th that th that right there is a reason in and of itself like they, yeah, they dude, were able to get that man in the booth <laughs> that is fucking free game over okay so that that like the the way that movie was handled written the pacing all that shit the second one is right now undefeated out of all the my hero films that they have Facts. so far it's just there's there there's no way they're gonna be able to like because that's the thing right because i was like okay are is the third movie gonna do something cool or are they just gonna try to repeat what they did in the second one and somehow make it better but the second you do that it already lost its fucking meaning that when when they did it the first time so for that i was just like yeah no there's no way that the third the third one could be fine the third one could be great and it was it was a good movie yes i enjoyed agreed. it i recommend it you know for those that didn't see it see it but i tell you this right now the second one is the goaded one as of right now and i'm pretty sure it's gonna stay that way for a long time when it comes to the my hero movies and that's yeah, the, just the that's first it. one the first one was you know the first one had a huge wow factor for me the second one just blew me out of the water and the third one was like all right this was cool yep that's what i'm saying like the 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 the, the bar or the stakes did not go higher for me at all like yeah the, the just like you said it the first one was great that was when the meter was going up the second one that meter fucking shot up okay third one it dropped down a little bit didn't drop down a, a lot but it dropped down enough to where it was it's visibly if i had it a graph it would be yeah. visibly noticeably there you know so you know what though i know you be sleep but i just saw the sword art movie the other day and that shit was fire you know it's funny i literally <laughs> i don't remember where i saw something about that oh yeah, yeah yeah i have a friend on facebook and he and he said that uh that he that he saw the the sword arm movie. I'm like, what? They had a sword Dude, arm movie. <laughs> I was losing it. It was so good. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, yo, funny thing, the, the only thing I have to say on sword art is 
They have Sword Art Online on Japanese Disney Plus. Random. What? Random. I'm telling like that's it. <laughs> that's it. Random as shit. I literally was testing this VPN now that I have. I logged into Disney Plus. I wanted to see what I could watch in Japanese. I can watch Spider-Man Unlimited in Japanese, which is fucking OD. And then I saw right on the front page, Sword Art Online. I'm like, how is this here? It made no sense. That's cool though. Yeah, Sword Art movie. Yeah, it's crazy. It's still, it's still around. Check it out. Yeah, dude, it's so worth it. You need to see it. I feel like I'm, but that's the thing. Like, I'm so behind on Sword Art. You're, like, no, no, you're not. This movie was literally the very first few episodes retold from someone else's point of view. What? That, that's, okay, that's why. Kind of fire. They, that's what I'm saying. So it's you didn't miss anything. You could have never seen the series. You could watch the movie and be like, oh, this shit was amazing, and then watch the series and be like, oh shit, wait, what? What? That's pretty dope. Okay. So I mean, it, it literally starts at episode one. It's just someone else's perspective. Yeah. And, and they showed us a lot of things that we, you know, they hit us with the actually, you know, the people we Ooh. didn't, we, people we haven't seen before, <laughs> things we didn't know. Yeah. You know what? Mark this shit because, like, we're about to wrap up now, but I actually want to dedicate some time next week to talk about sword art because i feel like oh i can i know all about it yeah yeah okay good because i feel like that could be that that could be an episode in itself so and that's why i want to stop here because i just know how it goes and and if and if brandon's back and as well as our guest that i've been trying to get to i know they're all about the sword art too That'll be Word. that'll be for some fun uh, little chit chats. I'll probably learn a bunch of things because I've only seen up until um, the first few episodes of the uh, the bullet one. I forget what it was called. It's a it's a show. Oh, you're talking about the the gun game. Oh, Gun, gun Gale whatever. Online. There it is. Yeah, Gun yeah. Gale. But um, that's season two. It's a it's a show from based on what I've seen from other people. It's a show that most people very easily fall off of. So I'm going to go ahead and probably say that I probably have seen the most because I've seen all three seasons of it and mm -hmm. whatever movie they put out just now. But definitely, I think that while <laughs> while it did earn a bit of its uh, of its fallout, it definitely made its way back with the third season that came out in 2020 because that shit went wild and mm. crossed lines once again. It just it definitely crossed some lines that I don't think it should have. But that's a conversation for later. I bet. Damn. All right. Shit. I might. I might have to try to check it out before next week. Then, if I can get a chance to. Yeah. Just. I mean. Just check out the movie. Whatever. And you know, the movie is just the first few episodes anyway. So you're not. You're not missing anything if you don't watch it first. Solid. All right. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to leave with the the people at home? Um. No, nah, I'm pretty good. Watch out for that new variant. Yeah. Stay inside, wear your masks. Yep, yep, definitely. That's going to be about it, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in, listening in to this week's episode of the Full Power Podcast. As uh, I always say, make sure you are leaving your comments in the, the comment section on the YouTube version and leaving, um, you know, any kind of suggestions on the Spotify polls. Make sure you are giving us that feedback because any kind of feedback is better than no feedback. Um, we just, we just love to, you know, obviously kind of feed off of whatever you guys are putting out there towards us. And then if you want to get a little bit more direct, of course, there's always our email, which is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. Once again, that is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. Here's your boy, Ooch, the homie Kai. Take care of yourselves. May the power protect. Keep it locked loaded right here on this podcast. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. I'll see y'all next time.